second part so this is dry now and we're gonna stem this up with some homemade stamps um, you can use store-bought whatever you can use what you have I think I'm gonna go with uh, let me just show you what I have so I made a lot of them and I'm just thinking on the green I have more obviously um have so much stamps uh, maybe I should put like no something that I can stamp many times coffee beans co no I would like to use oh something like this this could probably work but then I wouldn't do the circle okay um Maybe the flower. We'll see how that goes. If your paper is curling, what you can do is curl it back up. Or you can just um, rub it against the, the edge of the table. We need flat paper. And I'm gonna start with stamping. And when I finish stamping, I'm gonna start with doodling or just going over it. I'm gonna use archival ink um, to stamp. I can show you how it looks, the stamps looks like. I hope they're, because um, I didn't use them for quite a while. Yeah, this one is still nice. Um, it's not as, as um, it doesn't have very strong lines, which I like. I'm just gonna okay let's start with putting this on the paper randomly putting what I do um, let me put this sample aside I turn the paper and have the same position of the stamp Okay, I'm gonna continue with with the snowflake, with the flower. I think I'm gonna go with the flower. Um, this shape of the flower I bought in the cheap store were like in a pack. Uh, they had like various shapes of flowers for I think two dollars um, and I just took a crocodile and make a hole let me turn this I'm gonna see it better where it's missing some flowers and then what I did is I mounted on some uh, packaging here <laughs> I mounted on packaging and then I put um, just I made a handle with just a tape so I can actually uh, hold this and stamp it you don't need to mount them on, on blocks or anything because they don't take much space they're small um, okay so that part is over maybe I should put some flakes on um, snowflakes let's try that um, you should invest in like archival or stay zoning because it's really amazing uh, and if you can get like different colors or at least black black is very important I think if there is any images behind the paint uh, you can stamp on it and it's not gonna be visible at all or writing that you don't like or let me turn this around you can even go over the edges you know like 
I would put a sticky or something so it's not just centered on can always go over the edge I could actually do a small let me think what I can do I'm trying to find something smaller I guess um, let's go with what about this I made some stamps for Happy Mail I think I'm gonna use this one I'm not sure or the star nah. or this no let's go with this um, so I made more that I usually do for me I make one uh, but I think I'm gonna make much more with the fun foam because they are fun to make so this one I punched with these small ones I made with small punch like this I put the fun foam because it has big opening I put the fun foam on the paper or like thin cardboard I think it was paper though so it's more sturdy and I punched it out and made few and put mounted on on cardboard and make a handle and that's it yeah I think I'm making a dot because I'm not centering it very nice I think I'm gonna doodle something I'm not sure what but we'll see so I'm gonna take a sharpie and I'm just trying to think what should I do I have so many options uh, maybe I don't know I bought this um, gel stifte <laughs> this is uh, glitter gels yes and maybe I could use greenish I don't know what if I do pink um, I'm gonna make pink flowers I'm gonna just trace it around like not very um neatly um not sure if i'm gonna do all the same these pens are very cheap uh i think there's this is like a dollar yeah uh nice colors and you just have to let it sit uh i had even more expensive ones but you have to let it the gel ink has to dry so you can actually uh, start doodling from left to right from top to bottom so you don't smudge anything because if it's smudged it's gonna stay there probably you can take alcohol on, on your wipe or something and wipe it away but they're gonna wipe away the ink too probably I think I'm getting I'm gonna I'm, I'm starting to like this and with this you never know what you're gonna get maybe the color you didn't like it before when you put it on it wasn't a nice color but I think when you start putting stuff on and doodling uh, it starts to look very nice you wouldn't actually expect to look like that I think I mean I never do I don't know what I'm gonna get I never throw stuff away I give it away in happy mail or I ask my friends if they want it um, if I really don't like it that happened with some projects that I had even some papers because usually it's like if you don't like it that doesn't mean that somebody else is not gonna like it we always think that other art is better than ours which is totally not true you just have to love what you do this is very calming I have to say very nice um, shimmery look I have a problem usually when I try to doodle because I don't know what to doodle I always have that block uh, in my mind okay should I do hearts and then I just do circles and hearts and you know stars and that's it I didn't experiment much with doodling um, the other day I was uh, coloring um, cupcakes that I had 
uh, on coloring page and when I was half finished I just started to like go oh I would like to know how to draw a cupcake I tried it and made very nice cupcakes I decided I'm gonna try to make more cupcakes so I put a printing paper on my desk and start doodling with my with my pencil then I just trace it with a thin black marker colored it and I really love that um, so I basically now know how to actually make cupcake if I want to draw it, I did some practice, so I could probably do it. Maybe if I decide to make a cupcake themed painty paper, yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot of work, but I'm gonna think of something to put a lot of cupcakes on my painty papers. I'm almost finished with the uh, pink. A lot of my scrapbook paper that I make, I make envelopes out of it because I send a lot of mail out and uh, this is my template that I made. It fits right in. Everything that's like it's uh, cut off, I usually save and put similar colors together and glue them together and make another envelope. Uh, those are really I love those uh, very much. I could make white, something white. This is another thing that I have. I'm gonna try it. Usually I try it and if I don't like it I just wipe it away because uh, there's no ink around or anything. I might put some color in the circles. I don't know if that was a wise choice. Now I shouldn't stop, should I? This is my homemade um, Posca pen. I really like to use because it doesn't let me down. I think that looks okay. I'm just gonna finish adding some oh, more of the dots, um, circles here. This is probably dry. Because you can see it like, it looks good. So what should I do? <laughs> let me let me think of something i think i'm gonna still use that blue one on the snowflakes just let me see how that's gonna look like oh yeah that's gonna be great i'm not gonna be very careful how i put it down but just to trace it around even if i miss a thing i think this is gonna look awesome um i finished maybe you can see it better here this is where i stopped doodling and this is the other half i'm going to put pictures on the video too so you would see it um at the end i'm gonna continue on doing the other side because the snowflakes take, take, take a lot of time, but no matter. Wait, I'm gonna finish them. Um, maybe this is gonna be very solid. Um, maybe I should trace around this. Just tracing out the object that you stamp on makes it very much uh, more solid and interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this and when I finish I'm gonna come back. Welcome back. Uh, so I finished my doodling and stuff. I'm not sure if you can actually see so this is the first page. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. I'm gonna tell you what I did. Um, so remember those dots that I made? Yeah, it was probably a few seconds ago for you. Um, I used... 
So I use this streaky gel pens that I have. They're all like 15 years old maybe. And they're very streaky but they have a lot of paint in them. So I didn't throw them away. Um, everything that it's like pastel and um, like bright colors, I use it in here in these dots. That it makes it more interesting. Uh, I finished with the with the gel pen, uh, glitter gel pen, uh, doodling around, and it makes very interesting uh, background or. You can use it for journal cards, really, uh, or ADCs or anything. Um, and this is the other one um, that I finished. Went around with black marker uh, around here. And I added some gold dots with the gel pen really cheap cheap stuff this is the finished product it took me like maybe two songs that I did this coloring around with with the gel pen and the dots two songs maybe and this the same two songs to finish all the shapes I hope you like it and you will try to make something like that at home Part three is going to be how to make scrapbook paper with bot stamps. Take care, guys, and have a great day. Bye.